What is going on guys, it is Brick Jenner here, back with another video, and today guys, for the first time in my channel's history, besides my collab with Power Pumpkin Gamer, I'm going to be talking about something related to the world of Nintendo. Now if you guys have been here for a while, you all know that Nintendo is not even close to my expertise, and although I owned a Wii with like 20 some games, I played mostly the LEGO games and never really got into the dense world of Nintendo's first party titles. So things like Pokemon, Zelda, and Animal Crossing are pretty foreign things to me. I am saying this because if there are any Nintendo fans watching this, don't murder me if I mess something up. Just let me know in the comments and I'm, I'm probably wrong. But besides that, let's get into the video where I'm going to be talking about the darker side of Animal Crossing's popularity. So you guys haven't been living under a rock, you know that Animal Crossing New Horizons is taking over the gaming market as of right now. People are running up on this game like there's no tomorrow. People are playing this game so much, the price of a Nintendo Switch, basically only because of Animal Crossing, has skyrocketed to over twice the price it was two months ago. And I see why, the game is basically a virtual world where you can do essentially whatever you want. You can create, build, and just play to your heart's desire. It has so many different things to do that appeals to one of the widest array of audience I've ever seen in a game. People that I wouldn't even think know what a joystick is are picking up this game for obscene prices and gaming on them. And that's all in good fun, but I think there's something we are not all realizing with people's obsession with this game. During this tough time with the global pandemic and blah blah blah, people are trying to find an escape from the worldly troubles and are playing Animal Crossing for that relief. People are escaping into the virtual world to get away and distract themselves from real problems. It's always been one of the main reasons video games have been so popular, especially games like Animal Crossing. But to the extent that Animal Crossing is literally just like our lives, in real life is crazy. It quite literally is an idealistic, capitalist society. It maintains some of the values of our current world that are familiar to us, but also incorporates factors that make it perfect that would never happen in real life. For example, in Animal Crossing, to get an initial deposit for bells, the currency in the game, you can take a loan out from a very nice guy with no interest. In real life, if people want to take loans to start their lives, like student loans, it has tons of interest, and you can go to jail if you do not fulfill them. You see, the world of Animal Crossing is what we want for our lives, and although that sounds great, it really means a lot for the future of entertainment. Games where you can just do whatever you want, while still maintaining properties for our lives actually, are insanely popular besides just Animal Crossing. Take The Sims series, for example, another example of parallel universe entertainment. And I've seen this theme in other forms of media, like Ready Player One. It's basically a movie where basically the whole world is virtual for the only way to have any entertainment. Basically, they use VR for any sort of anything. This could potentially be the dark future of entertainment and how our world resolves problems by ignoring them, by hopping into video games that are close to our lives, but not exactly like them. And I'm not trying to get too dark or deep as I look into the future, but I definitely see games like Animal Crossing taking over the market as they're going to serve as the only escape for people in this world. But then again, I could just be overthinking anything. And no hate against Animal Crossing, that game looks dope. Hope you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and if you guys got an opinion like this, let me know in the comments below. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace!